Okay, in question five, a quarter x minus an eight x equals three minus one sixteenth times x. Um, I want to show you one uh, pretty cool, nice way of doing this problem. And if you, you know, if you're familiar with your times tables in math, it always really helps. For example, now, if you look at these numbers, four, eight, and sixteen, what what comes to your mind? Right. If you know your four times tables, you'll know. Okay, four goes into everything, but you know they're all also a multiple of sixteen. You know, two eights is sixteen, four fours is sixteen. Right. So, um, you know, the the common denominator among all of these is sixteen. So what we're going to do is multiply across by the same uh, by the common denominator, the lowest common denominator. So. So that's that's how we can solve this guy. So multiply um, both sides um, by the lowest common denominator, right? Which in this case is what? 16, right? So if we multiply both sides by 16, it'll make it nice. Now, uh, let me say that you know when you multiply both sides, you gotta multiply everything. So you're multiplying this guy by 16, you're multiplying this by 16, and so on. And and in fact, when I'm multiplying fractions, it's nice to write 16 over 1, isn't it? Okay. And I'm multiplying this by 16, and I'm also multiplying this by 16 over 1, right? So I'm multiplying everything by 16. Now 16 over 1 times 1 over 4, 4 and 4 goes once, 4 into that goes 4 times, so I can get 4 times 1 over 1 and ends up being 4x. What does this one become? 16 over 8, what's 16 over 8? It is 2, so 2x. Two 16 times 3, 48. And then 16 over 16, what's that? That's 1, so minus 1x, right? And now we just add like terms and solve the equation. So, what's 4x subtract 2x? Are these like terms? Yeah, these are like terms, so that gives us 2x equals 48 minus 1x or minus x. I'm just going to write it as 1x. And now I have to solve it. So, the trick at this point is we have an x on both sides, right? So. That, that what you want to do is you want to get x's on one side and numbers on the other, right? Let me show you what's a bad idea. Here's the bad idea. Subtract 2x from both sides, okay? And then you're left with 48 uh, minus 3x. And then students even start to forget where the equal sign is, right? And then they they turn that into an equals and, and it's, it's a complete mess. So that's not the way to go because you're not getting x's on one side, numbers on the other. What you want to do here is say, right, I have a number here on its own. I have an x here, and then I have an x over here. I want all the x's on one side, all the numbers on the other. Let's leave that number there. Let's get rid of this guy. How would you get rid of negative 1x? How would you get him out of there? Would you add 1x, right? So if I add 1x to both sides of the equation, the equal sign, see it here? Then I'll get 3x equals 48. Right, and then divide by 3, and we have x equals 16.